right on time. That was a softball game. I only stayed through the second inning, but guess who got a double and tied up the game? Way to go, Sarah. Oh, no, it wasn't me. It was Lisa from accounting. <laughs> Where are Tim and Todd? Oh, it's just going to be the three of us tonight. They're not coming? No, Tim is going off with Maggie to yoga. And Todd, where did Todd say he was going? New Bond movie. You know, I can't wait to hear what he thinks. He always gives such insightful reviews. Yeah, I don't like when he combines thumbs with stars. I find that very confusing. <laughs> They're really not coming, but they said they were going to be here. Well, they changed their minds. Could you pass the mashed potatoes? Why am I such a fool? <laughs> Sweetie, is everything okay? It is for Tim and Todd out bending and stretching and skipping around the multiplex. <laughs> I mean, am I the only person who does what they're supposed to? Oh, that's a nice quality, sweetie. How about those potatoes? <laughs> nice quality, nice quality. Potatoes. I mean, I love the company softball game in the second inning. Why? Because I had to be here for dinner. Because I always have to do the right thing. Maybe if I did the wrong thing every once in a while, I wouldn't have the problems I have now. Now, how about the meat? Why is all the food in front of Sarah? Oh, sweetie, when I look at you, I just see a perfect little angel. Oh, come on, Mom. I can't find a boyfriend. I don't have a social life. Angels have problems, too, sweetie. You know what? I need to shake things up. I need to break some rules. Okay, that sounds fine. I appreciate the thought, Mom. But rebels don't need permission. In fact, I'm taking off right now. I'm leaving dinner without a care in the world. Time for a little rebellion, Sarah style. There's my fresh of garlic in them. And a little cream. Ooh. Hey, is this the scarf you guys gave Jeannie? Sure is. Your mother convinced me 300 bucks wasn't too much for a scarf that would forever hang on the woman you were going to marry. Oops. <laughs> hey, it's true. What's that? I was right all along. Too much fish is bad for you. I hear what you're saying, and I see your excitement, but I can't match it up. For 30 years, your mother has never admitted she's wrong. This time, I have got her. And this all has something to do with fish? You bet your ass it does. <laughs> yeah, about a year ago, we were at Bookbinders. With you and Jeannie. Your mother and I got into a huge argument. I said, too much fish is bad for you. She said, oh, you can never have too much fish. But she's right. I mean, it's fish, you know. You, you can eat it all you want. Sure. If you want a brain full of mercury. <laughs> what? It's right here in this medical report. Finally gonna win one against Ma. Oh, this is gonna be so sweet. You know what? I'm gonna take her back to Bookbinders. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, recreate the entire argument and then spring this on her. <laughs> that seems like a lot of work. Todd, an unusually high percentage of Swedish fishermen have died. It can't be for nothing. <laughs> they will live on in the memory of me sticking it to your mother. <laughs> I was thinking that we deserve a dinner out tonight. Ooh, that sounds great. I know how much you love bookbinders. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Hello, all. Hi, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Can I interest any of you in a cup of decaf French vanilla roast? No, thanks. No? Are you sure? Because I stole it. <laughs> What? Yep, just swiped it from the coffee hut. Sarah, why would you do such a thing? Remember how I was gonna rebel? Well, I did it. I stole. Do I look different to you? You stole from the coffee hut? You stole from sweet old Mr. Hazlett? You think it's lame? No, it's not lame. It's robbery. It didn't even feel good to take it, but I thought I was supposed to. Never mind. You did your best. <laughs> now let's make this coffee and we'll toast our little rebel. I'll be right back. Where are you going? The coffee hut. Gotta try to slip ten bucks into the tip jar now without making a commotion. Thanks, Sarah. What is wrong with me? I'm gonna lead with a compliment here. I applaud the fact that you're trying to rebel. Thanks, Todd. But I boo everything else. But it, I... Boo! Look, it is hard to think of the right, wrong thing to do. 
Okay, there's your problem. This isn't about thinking. It's about going after something you want. Right, like when I broke off my engagement with Jeannie to be with Susan, I wasn't thinking about what I was doing or who I was hurting. I just went after what I wanted. <laughs> right. And, and I, I wasn't thinking when I started dating Maggie. I just knew I liked her and she wasn't thinking, so we hooked up. Well, I do have a crush on somebody. <laughs> But I know we shouldn't get involved because we work together. No, Sarah, that's perfect. But what if it doesn't work out and then it gets awkward? Or what if it does work out and then he's transferred to the D.C. office? I mean, can I deal with the long-distance relationship? Sarah, stop. Stop thinking? No, stop talking. <laughs> what Todd means is just go for it. He is really cute. All right, I'm going to go for it. Wait, where are you going? I just want to run this by Mom. Keep her up to date on the new rebellion. Oh, Sarah. <laughs> Boo? Worse than boo. Hiss. <laughs> All right. Fine. I won't tell anyone. Sarah, we're out of lactose-free milk for your rebellion coffee. <laughs> what are you thinking about getting? Mm, the roast chicken looks good. Of course, I haven't decided what I'm getting yet. What to choose? What to choose? <laughs> you know, I really want the salmon, but I had... Tuna on Monday, halibut on Tuesday, swordfish burger this afternoon. What do you think about that? What do I think about what? Just I've had a lot of fish this week, and I'm a little on the fence about having more. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I've had too much. But you probably think a person can never have too much fish, don't you? Oh, I don't think that at all. <laughs> But I've always said it's not good to have too much fish. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, we were here a year ago, and you said exactly the opposite. No, Peter, that was you. No, Annie, I am the one who said that too much fish is a bad thing. Why else would I cut out this article about the dead Swedes to prove my point? Peter, one of us is wrong, and one of us is right. Who's usually right? <laughs> You have a serious problem, you know that? Why can't you admit you're wrong? Once, just once. Is your ego that big? Actually, if you think about it, my ego is quite modest for someone who's constantly right. You're wrong. I'm right. You're wrong. I'm right. You're wrong. Peter, why don't we just not talk about it anymore? Fine. I'm right. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kev. Hey, Kay. Hey, Cabo. <laughs> That's the one! Uh, Cabo. Um, Kevin. Hi, Sarah. Um, any word on the uh, package from the main office? Yeah, I uh, got it right here. You know, you get more mail than anyone else in this building. <laughs> Kevin, come on. You know what I just realized? You haven't spent much time in my office, have you? No, I guess I haven't. Well, this is my office. And this is me in my office. With my new suit. <laughs> what do you think? Yay! Uh, nice suit. That's very sweet of you to say. I like your shirt. Lunch is here. The uh, cabinet stopped me from falling over. So, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Welcome. Are, are, you, are you sure you're okay? No. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. More importantly, how are you? What's going on in your world? You know what? I don't even know your middle name. It's John. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> so tell me, Kevin John, how would you like to see what a real prospectus looks like? Okay. Have fun up here. What? Come on. <laughs> so, have you ever been this close to a woman who manages a hundred million dollar hedge fund? No. How about this close? Uh, well, you know, since I said no to the other one. You know. <laughs> this close. <laughs> uh, 
I think we're supposed to open our mouths. I have to go. Oh, gosh, I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. I really have to go. Wait! Kevin! Kevin John! Capo! <laughs> Honey, mm -hmm. there's freshly squeezed orange juice in the fridge. And for the record, I used to think that orange juice was good for you, and I still do. What was that about? Your mother refuses to admit that she once said you can never have too much fish. <laughs> you guys starting to run out of things to fight about? <laughs> if I could call Jeannie, she'd remember the fish fight. She remembers everything. You can't call Jeannie. Why? Because Todd broke off their engagement. You really want to stir up all that rejection and pain? No, I don't want to do that. But I do want to give her her scarf back. Dad, <laughs> after everything she's been through, she deserves to have her scarf back. And if fish comes up, it comes up. You know, you don't need Jeannie to resolve this. When Maggie and I fight, we just sit down and listen real carefully to each other's point of view. Oh, come on, you only need that crap when things aren't working out. When you're as steady as your mom and I, this is how you do things. Where are mom and dad? I have to talk to mom and dad. Well, slow down. I can't slow down. I need my parents. They'll fix this. Sarah, what's wrong? Oh, well, let's see. I kissed the boy at work like you suggested, and he turned and ran out the door. So, boo! <laughs> okay, take it easy. We're here for you. Okay, just give us the details so we can pinpoint exactly where you blew it. Look, this is way beyond what you're thinking. I just sexually harassed the male boy. <laughs> Whoa, he's the male boy? You didn't tell us that. This can't be happening to me. I used to be Sarah, Vice President of Finance. Now I'm Sarah, Vice President of Dirty Touching. Still sounds important. I need to talk to Mom and Dad. No, no, Mom no, and Dad. Sarah, Sarah, what's wrong with you, okay? You, you just did something really stupid. Why would you want to tell Mom and Dad? Because Dad is big and Mom gives hugs. As someone who spent his whole life in trouble, it has never helped when Mom and Dad found out. Hey. What's going on? Nothing, just doing the lunch thing. No, something's going on. <laughs> Tim, is there something I should know? I don't think so. Todd? Everything's cool. <laughs> Sarah, is there something that you want to tell me? There is. If it's about me, I'm still sleeping with your old friend Maggie. And sometimes when I'm with her, I'm thinking of your other friend Nancy. <laughs> Nancy is 65 years old. 65 years young. Oh, Tim, what is wrong with you? You're a good man. I'm gonna throw up. I can't lose my job over this. Did anybody see you? I don't think so. All right, then this is easy. You say it never happened. You can't do that. It did happen. Sarah, you wanted to be rebellious. You made a mess. Now you gotta deal with it. First I have to do something wrong, then I have to lie about it. How much more is there? You also have to not feel guilty about it. Oh, jamming and crickets. You also have to not say Jiminy Crickets. Thank you so much, Dr. Brennan. I love this scarf, but I felt uncomfortable asking for it back. Actually, it was just kind of an excuse. Just to see how you're holding up. Chit-chat about whatever. That's sweet. I'm good. I'm doing fine. Yeah, I have to admit, I keep thinking about all the good times we had. Yeah, we did have a lot of fun. Hmm. Remember about a year ago, the four of us went to Bookbinders? <laughs> Of course. That's the night Todd proposed. Right. Right, right. It was a magical night. Todd was all nervous, had the ring in his pocket. Annie and I were arguing about fish. You remember that part? I remember everything about that night. Todd walked me down to this romantic grassy spot overlooking the Delaware. 
And then he told me how he felt about us and our future together. Right, your future. I was thinking about ordering the halibut. I have never felt as good as I did at that moment. And I honestly don't know if I will ever feel that good again. Come on now, this certainly doesn't sound like the genie who was doing fine just moments ago. Yeah, I'm not fine. I'm not fine at all. No, sweetheart, no, you're, you're a wonderful girl. Genie, you are, and you're going to find somebody else. Thank you. Yes, you're very welcome. Now, shh, calm down, calm down. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, please recount my argument with Annie. Oh, no, no, no. Um, I'll get tissues. They always help. Just hold on. Hold on a second. Jeannie. Sweetheart. Sweetheart. Jean, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Were you, was that just crying or were you answering my question? Peter, what is going on? Hello. Is somebody crying in there? Billy Hathaway. <laughs> Afraid of needles. Todd, is that you? So he's doing his genie impression. Why is genie here? God, this is about the fish. <laughs> Todd, please, I need to talk to you. I need to know if this is really over. This is how you treat your favorite? What the hell did you do to Tim and Sarah? You are a sad, sad man. Fine, I'm sad, I'm pathetic. I stoop to ridiculous levels, but let me point out one thing. Behind that door lies the truth, and we can settle this right here, right now. Unless you're afraid you're wrong. Jeannie? <laughs> I know coming back here must have stirred up a lot of painful memories, but nonetheless, you are here. So, do you remember that night at Bookbinders? Oh, come on! Jeannie, Dr. Brennan and I had an argument. One of us said incorrectly that a person can never have too much fish. Who said that? Me or Dr. Brennan? What was the question? Jeannie, please focus. Who said you can never have too much fish? For God's sakes, you guys are mentally ill. Just answer the question and this will be all over. It was Mrs. Brennan. Mrs. Brennan said you can never have too much fish. Yes. That doesn't make sense. No, no, no. I'm right. You're wrong. Oh, and you can't tuck, 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 tuck your way out of this one. Oh, it hurts. I know, I have been there. But you'll get over it. Maybe. Wait. It was Dr. Brennan who said you could never have too much fish. Thank you. No, 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 wait a minute, she's confused. She's upset, she's a blubbering idiot. She can hear you. Thank you. I think we should talk about what happened earlier. Nothing happened earlier. You kissed me. Whoa. <laughs> Sounds like someone should spend more time sorting mail and a little less time making up crazy stories. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? You, you asked me to sit next to you on your desk and then you kissed me. Kevin, I am so sorry. Sarah? I was uh... completely out of line and I will report myself to Joyce and Human Resources. Why would you do that? Because I am a sexual predator. Look, I think you have the wrong idea here. You, you, you didn't pressure me into anything. Really? Then why did you run away? Because... I am a freak. You're not a freak. I am. I, I overthink everything. So do I. You don't understand. The, the moment you kissed me, my mind started racing. How, how will this work out? Do we have to keep this a secret? How will we act in the hallway? What if we fight all the time? What if we never fight? That's not healthy. Couples need to fight, or do they? I understand everything you're thinking. But sometimes you just have to stop thinking and take a chance. How do you do that? By kissing me right now. Oh, wow. 
I know. That was nice. Yeah. Wait, uh, when you said nice, did you mean nice like good or, or nice like not that good? Because I, I feel like if you meant good, you would have said good and not nice. And, and what did you mean by Okay. This isn't gonna work. Hey, how did everything go at work today? Good. Good, I'm glad. What was that about? Nothing. Sarah, I know something happened. Nothing happened. Sarah, we're not just mother and daughter. We're best friends. You can tell me everything. You should tell me everything. <laughs> you know what, Mom? I'd rather not say. Well, that's OK, dear. But our attorney's number is on the fridge in case someone sues you for sexual harassment. <laughs> Tim broke. One of you always breaks. 